Welcome to this video. This video explains how we could use shell to solid coupling in Abacus software. As you can see in this figure, we want to model a tube which is fixed in one side and a concentrated moment is applied to the other side which is connected to a rigid part. Considering the dimensions of the tube, the elbow internal radius is 5 mm which comparing to the thickness of the tube is a really a small radius and we cannot model this part as a shell. But two straight sides of this tube can be modeled as shell and we want to model these parts as shell to reduce the computational cost and couple them with the elbow part which should be modeled as a solid. An alternative way to model this problem is shell to solid submodeling which we have explained in our previous videos and you can find them in our channel. As some part of the problem should be modeled as shell while other part is modeled as a solid, we should create three different parts including two shells and a solid. We create the straight tube with the length of 100 mm at first. The cross section is a semicircle with a radius of 10.5. and we extrude it by the length of 100 mm. For creating the next straight tube, which has 50 mm length, we copy the first one and rename it. Now we edit this part and change its length. Then we create the elbow as a solid part. The part is three dimensional, deformable and we use solid feature to create it by revolution. The green line shows the revolution axis and we should create the cross section of the part around the revolution axis. The cross section contains two semicircles and the center of the semicircles should be located at the center line of the elbow, which is 16 mm. Finally, we close the cross section and revolve it by 90 degrees around the revolution axis. In the next step, we go to the property module and create a material for the shell and solid parts. The material is linear elastic and we enter the values in megapascal. We should create two different sections because we have both solid and shell elements in our simulation and assign the solid section to the elbow part and assign the shell section to both of the shell parts. After assigning the materials, we enter all the parts in the assembly module by using auto offset. Now we should put the shell parts beside the elbow part in a way that we could apply shell to solid coupling between these parts. We translate the first shell part to this location. And one more time, we should translate and rotate the other shell part. At first, we rotate this part around the y-axis by 90 degrees. And now we can translate it to the appropriate position. Now our assembly is complete and we can go to the next module. In the step module, we create a static general step. As this problem is linear, 
we can solve the problem by one increment. Or even we can use linear perturbation for solving this problem. In interaction module, at first we should define shell to solid coupling constraints between shells and solid parts. For this purpose, we create a constraint and choose shell to solid constraint. Then we pick the shell edge and the surface of the solid which should be constrained to the shell edge. We could define the distance that inside this distance the coupling is happened and for notice outside the distance the coupling constraint is not applied. We apply the procedure one more time for the other side of the elbow. As one side of the tube is connected to a rigid part, we define rigid body constraint for this side. At first we create a reference point and then couple this reference point by the shell edge by rigid body constraint. By this constraint we can apply concentrated moment to the reference point. In load module at first we should apply symmetric boundary condition because we have modeled one half of the problem due to symmetry. The symmetric plane is XZ plane and we pick all the edge of the shells and also the surface of the solid part in this plane. And apply Y symmetry to them. We should fix one side of the problem, as you can see in this picture. We fix all degrees of freedom, including translational and rotational degrees of freedom. After that, we can apply concentrated moment to the reference point of the other side. As we couple this reference point with the shell edge, this moment is applied to the shell edge. In the mesh module, at first, we apply hexahedra and structured mesh for the elbow solid part. Then using seed edge, we set to have four elements along thickness of the elbow part. After that, we apply global mesh size to the part, mesh size to the part, and apply element type control, which is standard 3D stress, and we use incompatible mode elements, which are suitable for bending. Then we mesh the elbow part. For the shell parts, by assign mesh control, we apply quadrilateral and structured mesh for them and then we seat them globally. And then we can mesh these parts. Now we create a job. And submit the job. By going to the visualization, we can pull out any output that we are interested, like stress or strain and displacement distribution, both in shells and in the solid part. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, 
please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in the next videos.